You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Today, I have more specifics for our audience. I want to welcome Faye Stern, Dr. Faye Stern. To Thank you very much studio, for having me. Who Thank is you. the president of Admi Tech Foundation. Correct. And obviously a medical doctor. And you are joining forces with the Brockton Area NAACP, the branch, and also the leading elected officials in the city Correct. of Brockton and the delegation to make sure people have awareness of a major health risk. And uh, uh, Steve Bernard, the president, was joined me as well, that he called it a crisis. So. Why is this so important to you? And it, it, it looks like it's your life's work. It is. It definitely is. My husband, uh, my, my uh, father is a prostate cancer survivor. My husband is at risk. My son is at risk for prostate cancer. So I basically dedicated uh, uh, my life since 1997 mm -hmm. to fighting prostate cancer and to creating uh, better options for screening, diagnosis, and treatment for men. How do you get men to admit that they need to go check this out and they need to take this seriously before it is a real crisis for them and then they have a diagnosis that may not be curable. Uh, and of course, as, you, as your question by itself implies, early detection of prostate cancer when it is still curable is absolutely critical. Uh, to the same extent as we do not want to have unnecessary procedures for the kinds of prostate cancer that may be harmless where treatment is worse. So our focus is on early detection of lethal prostate cancer in high-risk men and still already address who these men are. African-American men, black Hispanic men, men with family history, um, uh, men with abnormal screening. These are men that we are focusing on to make sure that if they are at risk of lethal prostate cancer, we'll have an opportunity to, de to screen them and detect them, detect it early. Now, how long has your foundation been around? You said you've been dealing with this since 1997. S correct. How long is that as long as the foundation's been yes. as well? Yes. Uh, foundation actually was created in 1997. Mm -hmm. uh, and originally, it was established as a research foundation. Mm -hmm. But uh, prior to that, I was a head of diagnostic imaging at the National Cancer Institute leading breast cancer programs. Mm -hmm. And I was absolutely astounded uh, when in 1996, 1997, I, I learned how far behind prostate cancer care is. And we created Admitec Foundation in order to transform that. Now, looking at the flyer, we have uh, the chief medical officer from Kearney Hospital. That name I don't think I could say. I'm not Dr. sure if you... Dr. Chiledum Ahagotu. Oh, that you're better than me. Very distinguished urologist, nationally recognized urologist. Well, we all know that some of the best medical care in the world is in Massachusetts and in Boston. No question. We, uh, no, no question, question about yeah. that. We also have an assistant professor of epidemiology at Boston University School of Public Health, Je Jennifer Ryder. Uh, Dr. Ryder is one of the world leading epidemiologist and public health experts in prostate cancer with very extensive research record, uh, research record in prostate cancer screening and early detection. And you're all going to be speaking about this. Yes. So we were invited by the NAACP to go and cover it. We're working on that. We're going to promote it for now. We want you to go. Even if we cover it for TV, there's a whole different feeling if you go there. And then, of course, right here from Good Samaritan Medical Center in Brockton is Dr. Jason Zalz. Uh, who is an outstanding radiation oncologist. So it's very important for us to have this broad-based support. Brockton mayor, elected officials, Representative Cassidy, Representative Cronin have been outstanding leaders of this issue at the State House. Uh, they really raised awareness of this issue in the State House. They helped us do that. Uh, uh, Senator Michael, Michael Brady, his role has been critical as well. So in, to integrate elected officials, there is a reason why they're elected. They're trusted by the public. Mm -hmm. And just like mayor is trusted by the public. And we want to integrate this respected and trusted role models in Brockton with leading physicians like Dr. Ahagoto, like Admitech Foundation, like Dr. Ryder, like Dr. Zolz, so we can bring the cutting-catch information 
to everyone. And we will have educational plenary session, then we will present state of the art, and then we will offer free individual counseling, family counseling, and group counseling. Whatever wow. men will choose, whatever is more comfortable for that. I would feel, what is important for me to say, what I do not want to miss in this interview, is Brockton has some of the highest prostate cancer mortality in the state, particularly in African-American men. The level of mortality in African-American men in Brockton is unacceptable. And it is critical for us to build a model where we will, new model, when we are integrated, electing officials, leading physicians in Brockton and outside, this organization like NAACP, so that we can bring the best information we can to most vulnerable and underserved men who are dying of this disease. When I know when Steve Bernard went before the city council, yeah. um, one of the counselors who actually hosts the show here is Cape Verdean, Moses Rodriguez. Okay, and Moses sure. Rodriguez always says that when you're talking about local issues, if you have local trusted faces, like you're talking about, that are presenting the information along with the experts that people don't know. Usually you have to yeah. go into Boston for something like this yeah. in, in general. I think this is gonna be a, a, a big hit. I think people are gonna, you know, I think you'll get a good crowd over at the Brockton VFW, which is a large venue, okay? And we wanna see we people come out. So. Well, I, yeah. we're gonna, we're gonna, I told Steve, we're promoting this all the way up till the day. There's been some good press in the newspaper, but most of all the work, the goals are very simple, easy to, to follow, and everybody's coming together to work on it. There's, uh, you know, start with a reception, light refreshments, entertainment, go into a formal program, have the co individual consultation, group, mm -hmm. family, and individual, and throw in a little entertainment at the end. What could be better than that? And it doesn't cost the community, the people that are being served anything. Usually people have to go to Boston to the world leading experts. We are bringing Boston's world leading experts to Brockton to serve men who are at risk of dying of prostate cancer. Okay, so what would you say, you and I having a nice conversation, they mm -hmm. gave me about the yeah. three minute cue. Mm -hmm. What do you want to tell our viewers out there in terms of getting them to come? I hope that every man in Brockton will join us on June 17th. Please give us a chance, give us a chance to empower you to make fully informed decisions about healthcare options and to ensure that you will have the best prostate health possible. Couldn't say, couldn't say it better myself. Thank you, doctor, for Thank bringing you your much. expertise and working Thank with our much. residents of Brockton. You bet. Just to run over the time one more time, Friday, June 17th, 2016, 6 to 10 p.m., Prostate Cancer Awareness over at the VFW Post 1046 at 283 North Quincy Street. This is a, combinated, a combined effort of the Brockton Branch and New England Area Conference of the NAACP, Admitech Foundation, and the Good Samaritan Medical Center, which is a steward family hospital. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.